Hi there, you ought to get a picture, nobody will believe you. I was sitting in the park, we were talking about what would be impossible to do. We talk about putting a cat on a dog and a rat on a cat, and I said, I'll do it. And a year and a half later, I did it. Um, and I'm glad to be, be the one to actually say I actually pulled it off. It's the first time in history it's ever been done. It's a mouse and a dog and a cat living happily together. See, why can't people get along? Some people call me one of the best pet whispers there is, but I, I've gotten the knack with pets. I did it to prove it can be done. And it's really, it's never been really about the money anyways. Uh, when people come up, I say, take a picture of whether you donate or not. I think my payment is, like, I mean, look at these people. I mean, the smiles on their faces. I mean, you know, they're amazed. I think that's my payment. It's booger, kitty, and mousy. Quarter a pet, dollar a lick, and the wags are free. I'm kidding. The kids can pet them if they like. They're very sweet. Yeah, the rat's alive. You can pet them if you like. Find out. I don't know how you train them to do that. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, animals are simple. People are complicated. I know. I agree with you. But why run when you can ride? That's true. <laughs> Everybody keeps coming up saying I look like Van Gogh, especially with the hat. <laughs> Except for I got my ears. But my art is with living creatures. The lady says he had to have drugged them. Too good to be true. You know, it is, it's actually that good. Sometimes I'll get irritated with the question, are they on drugs? And I'll say, well, I caught the rat with a crack pipe, so I'm raising money for the Betty Ford Clinic. And they're not on drugs. <laughs> you know, what drug would I give them? We go to the senior citizen home. Uh, in fact, there's a couple old ladies that um, that love the rats so much they almost beat each other with their canes just so they can hold the rat. I think it's funny. She, she'll play with them, but she won't hurt them. And she's the boss. Cats are always the boss. You can't force a cat to do anything it don't want to do. That's why you should know it. So if you know cats, you know this act is real. I've been doing this eight years. It's taught me what what I can do for people and how happy it makes them and then it makes my life really happy. And what I'm trying to do with this performance is to teach people that nothing's impossible and that we can all get along. It's real simple, you know? Is it the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? 